All right, so here's our product. I think it's going to be useful for a lot of people. You know, everyone hates cleaning things and scrubbing, and you know, that's always no fun. And for me, this is going to be pretty useful. I think there's a lot of things I could find use for this electric cleaning brush, uh, get some cleaning jobs around the house done a lot faster. So let's go ahead and pop this out of the box, see what you got inside. Yeah, you got a couple of uh, cleaning pads here. Blue on this side, this is the cleaning side, two different sizes. And I think this side is probably going to attach some kind of uh, Velcro, perhaps. It's kind of a warranty card in here. QR code probably did some registration. And here's the manual. Not a lot to it, so you could probably just pause the video if you want to read the whole manual. Some people, they they like to have the whole manual shown, so go ahead and have at it if you like to read the whole thing. All right, so this is the main uh, electric device here, so got your handle. Uh, I guess this is the charging port, charges by USB-C. And you got your on-off button there, so this is fully charged before use. And probably all your attachments go here, it probably just spins. And then you got your handle attachments over here. So here are the handle attachments. You got one, it looks like that goes to the end. And this one telescopes. So it looks like telescopes to about double the size and then you just twist this to lock it in place. And here are the rest of the attachments, a whole bunch of them. Got a little mesh bag here to hold all the attachments. Okay, got a pretty nice soft pad here. So, uh, so one of the things I want to try and do is clean my car, but I don't want to scratch the clear cut. So uh, I think this might be okay. Here's a little bit of a more rough surface sponge here. Ooh, and this one's very rough. This is a green scouring pad, probably don't want to use this on your car, it'll scratch your car for sure, but this will work pretty good in the kitchen. Got a couple of brush heads here. Ooh, this one is probably good for like cleaning like bathroom tubs or something like that. And here's a, a little bit softer one, so this looks like some sort of a wall attachment. Probably this hooks on something and then the handle goes in through here. Here's another attachment, another sort of kind of not super stiff, but pretty stiff brush. Probably for larger surfaces compared to this one here. It's a little bit smaller. And this is, yeah, this is, uh, this goes on to the actual scrubber. And then the, this is the Velcro surface that these other attachments will stick to. So they'll stick on here like so, and then just pull them off. Okay, I think this is what the handle I think this, it, this attaches to like the wall or something, and this goes on here. And you just to peel that off. Kind of, I'm not sure how that secure that is, but that's what that is. All right, it's like some kind of a plug or something. Maybe it goes into the end of the handle over here like this. It looks like it just screws in here, so then you could hang it on a wall or something like that if you don't want to use the uh, longer handles. And you just got a USB-C cable here for charging it, but no power brick, so you have to find your own power brick. And just some more stuff here that's on the uh, device itself. Uh, 5 volts, 1 amp is the max input, and charging time is 4 to 5 hours. I think that's it. Go ahead, and it's pretty simple. Let's go ahead and just start using it and see how effective it is. I'm going to start with the kind of kitchen countertops. I think that, that's a good example of something that this will be useful for. Let's go give it a try. All right, so here's something I've been meaning to clean. These are the kitchen countertop, and of course, the grout always gets dirty, and I hate cleaning it because it's a pain. It's very tedious. I think this uh, scrubber is just the thing for this, so let's uh, give it a shot. Now, the scrubber itself isn't fully waterproof, so you can't just submerge the whole thing water, but the head part is uh, waterproof, and then there is the uh, cap for the charge port three speeds on this so try the, the slow speed and see how it does and I'll move up I have a feeling I'm going to have to go all out on this one so let's see how it does
All right, so not really that much cleaner, but definitely better than before with not a lot of effort. So about as happy as I think I could be with this project here. All right, so I think all of these uh, bugs in the front of my car will be perfect for this scrubber. All right, so I think these uh, little demos here should get the picture across. You know, this is not anything that's going to be like a you know, miracle product or anything like that, but it's basically that's there to sort of save you a little bit of effort and time and get some of these sort of cleaning chores done. And that's basically what I've been using it for now. There's three speeds in this one. I've been for the heavy duty stuff. You just go for the maximum speed, speed level three. And then for like some of the stuff, like for polishing, like I did do a a little bit of polishing on the hood. Uh, I didn't show this on camera, but I used one of the softer attachments and a lower speed, and that worked really well. Um, so basically, that's pretty much it. You know, pretty simple device. Um, yeah, it's so overall pretty useful, and I'll definitely be using it in the future. Now, for the winner of this scrubber, I did have a giveaway for this one that I announced a while back, and there were people that were putting comments in on the videos, and I'll put the name of the person that want it here up on the screen. Um, that person should go down to the pin comment with the instructions and follow those uh, to claim the prize. And uh, wait till the end of the video and I'll talk about some other giveaways I'll have in the future. All right, so that's a lot better without a lot of effort. And the, this front part of the car, I hate scrubbing you know, by hand and having a little power tool definitely helps.